Auto Obsessed here. Today we're going to show you how to wash and detail your car using the SwissVax product line. SwissVax is world renowned and provides some of the best car care products available. Here at Auto Obsessed, we use products from SwissVax in every detail we do. They provide exceptional results and they're easy to use. At Auto Obsessed, our best practice is to wash the wheels before we wash the rest of the exterior. If we wash the wheels after we've already washed the exterior, we're going to get dirt and contaminants on the areas that we just finished. Therefore, we get the wheels out of the way first. We're going to start with the SwissVax Wheel Spray Forte. This product is safe for all wheels, uh, whether they're painted or aluminum. It's developed to lift dirt and dissolve iron particles. So we simply spray this on the wheel, let it dwell for a couple minutes, and it's going to change color as it reacts to iron. So it's going to spray on kind of a, a yellowish green. As it starts reacting with the iron and start lifting the dirt, it's going to start turning purple. So we'll just start off by spraying the wheel thoroughly. So I'm just spraying it thoroughly throughout the wheel. up inside the barrels. Once we've covered everything, we're just going to let it dwell on the wheel for a couple minutes. We prepared the wheel bucket with warm water. We're just going to add a couple capfuls of the SwissVax Lavish Shampoo. Produce some suds. We use our brushes now to wash the remainder areas of the rim. So we're just going to do this throughout to get the full barrels. For the other areas, we're going to use the SwissVax horsehair brushes. This works nicely uh, in between the, this is a two-piece rim, so it works nicely in between there, between all the intricacies of the rim. We can use it nicely around the wheel lugs. We can also use the other brush, the detail brush. That'll work nicely on this design. We can use it on the logo area, on the valve stem. You just kind of cover every area to ensure that all the brake dust and dirt and grime has been removed. This rim style takes a couple minutes with all the high level of detail, all the little lugs it has, the creases, the spoke design. But this is a very important step. If you don't take this time now, it's going to be very difficult once the wheel is dry to give it that highly detailed look. So spend a few more minutes when you're washing the rims, take the time, use the brushes, try to get every nook and cranny clean. That'll give you your best results. So I finished brushing the entire wheel and all the little nooks and crannies to ensure that it's clean. This is a good time now to take care of the rubber. We're just going to use a soft tire wheel brush with our wheel bucket and just scrub the rubber. This way it gets off any of the, any of the dirt contaminants. And it's going to give us a really great look once we go ahead and put the tire dressing on after we're finished. Okay, so we finished that. We're just going to rinse all the product off the rim. We've washed our wheels, now we're going to prepare everything we need to wash the exterior of the vehicle. And for this we're going to use the SwissVax 2 bucket system. The 2 bucket system contains a kneeling pad, 
a lid with gamma seal. So this can be used as a watertight solution if you need to transport water. Also, you can put it back on the bucket and use the kneeling pad as a seat pad. Both buckets contain a grit guard. The grit guard sits at the bottom of the bucket, prevents dirt and debris getting on our wash medium. So the first bucket we're going to leave with warm water as our rinse. The second bucket we're going to use for our shampoo solution. For this example, we're going to use the Swissvax car bath. This is the premium version. This product lifts dirt and debris off the paint finish. It also is wax safe, so it doesn't harm the wax. It leaves a beautiful look. We're going to use two caps of Swissvax car bath to our shampoo bucket. This is a highly concentrated version. some suds. In addition, we're going to prepare the foam cannon. At Auto Obsess, it's a best practice to use a foam cannon to disperse the shampoo solution on the vehicle. This helps loosen the dirt and debris before our hand wash. So to prepare the foam cannon, we're simply going to fill it with water, leaving enough room for the shampoo solution. In this example, we're going to use the same shampoo solution we used in the five gallon bucket, two capfuls. So we're going to fill it with water, add the two capfuls of shampoo, shake it up. In our car wash process, we're first going to rinse the vehicle to loosen any debris. Then we're going to use our foam cannon to spray the shampoo solution throughout the vehicle. In this case, this is a convertible, so we don't want to put the shampoo solution on the top. The rinse is going to be sufficient for the top. Once we have the shampoo solution on the vehicle, we're going to let that dwell for a few moments before we do the hand wash. This will allow it to lift any of the debris off of the paint surface. For the hand wash, we're going to use the Swissvax Wash Poodle. For those concerned about damaging the paint finish, we recommend using three of the Swissvax wash poodles, one for the top portion of the vehicle, one for the middle portion, and one for the bottom where it's most dirty. For our hand wash process, we're going to start out with our rinsed wash poodle. We're just going to wring it out. We're going to stick it into the clean shampoo solution. Just get some shampoo on there. And starting with the top of the vehicle, we're going to do small sections. And we're going to flip it over to a clean side. We're going to continue to finish the section. Once you've done that section, we're now going to take it to the rinse bucket. What we want to do here is try and get any dirt, any debris that might be on the wash poodle off. Uh, what we can do is just wring it out. We can rub it across the bottom of the grit guard. Once you've got it clean, we just simply wring it out. And we take it, put it into the shampoo solution. And now we just continue on to other parts of the vehicle. So try and keep it fairly small. We're going to flip it over to a clean side. Once we're done that, we're going to rinse it off, put it into the, to the soap bucket. After we've washed the top portion of the vehicle, now we're going to work on the middle portion. So this is a good time to change your wash medium out to a fresh, clean one. We're going to wash the middle portion of the vehicle. Once that's done completely, once again, we're going to change the wash medium and go to a clean, fresh one. Now we're going to do the bottom portion of the car that's really dirty. 
A good practice, if the car is very dirty, you might want to consider during each stage, during the top, middle, bottom stage, do you clean and use fresh water, so we're using fresh rinse water and fresh shampoo solution. We finished washing the vehicle, now we're going to thoroughly rinse it. At Auto Obsessed, we use filtered water to help prevent water spotting. Micro dry towel. This is a highly absorbent waffle weave towel. When drying a vehicle, you just want to use light pressure. You may want to use a couple towels for the upper portion of the vehicle just to prevent any scratching. At Auto Obsessed, we use an 8 horsepower Master Blaster car dryer. This provides a touch free dry. We've washed and dried these wheels. Now we're going to apply the Swiss Vax Auto Bond. It's a wheel wax. It's going to add a protection layer to these wheels. It's going to help keep the debris, brake dust off, and make it much easier to maintain. Once you've prepared the wheels using SwissFax paint rubber and SwissFax cleaner fluid, we can go ahead and use the SwissFax Autobond wheel wax. So this we're going to use a wax applicator. We're just going to apply a little bit of the SwissFax Autobond on the applicator and put it sparingly onto the surfaces, all painted surfaces of the rims. Once we have them covered, we're just going to buff them off with a micro fluffy towel. For best results, if you want to do the complete rim and the barrels, it is easier to have the rims off the car. In this situation, we're just going to do the face of the rims. No detail is complete until we dress the rubber. So we're going to use the Swiss Vax Panu tire dressing and we're going to use the Swiss Vax Panu brush. So we're just going to simply spray the tire dressing onto the end of the brush. We're just going to brush it in. So the brush works really nicely getting the tire dressing in all the, all the channels, any of the lettering, grooves. After we're done, we can just go back over it, just blend it. We're just going to apply this to the rest of the wheel. Take a look at the before and after of these wheels. The rims are much brighter, the rubber is much blacker. These wheels look like they're brand new. We've washed and dried the vehicle, now we're going to prepare the paint for wax. So what we need to do is remove any surface contaminants that may be left on the paint's finish that we were unable to wash off. What we're going to use is use a clay, we're going to use Swiss Vax paint rubber, and as a clay lubricant, we're going to use a Swiss Vax Quick Finish. So we're just going to rip off a portion of the clay. We're just going to work it, just make it a little bit more malleable, kind of turn it into a pancake. Something a little bit easier to manage. Also, uh, breaking into small parts, not easier, it's not just easier to manage. Also, if we do drop a piece, on the floor, we can just discard it and start it with a new piece. We're just going to spray down the panel with a liberal amount of quick finish as a clay lubricant. We're going to take the clay, we're just going to rub it back and forth, and we're going to feel if there's contaminants on the surface, you're going to feel them. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. You can go up and down as well and go in a cross pattern. And once you stop feeling the clay picking up, then you can continue on to a different section. So right now we've picked up all the contaminants. We can wipe off the additional quick finish. And now we can move on to a different area. I'm just gonna spray down the quick finish as a lubricant. You're also gonna keep an eye on the clay. So as it picks up contaminants, you're gonna see it start turning dark. Uh, what you can do is knead it in, just kind of fold it in, knead it in, go to a clean section. Just depending on how many particulates are on the surface, uh, you, might, uh, you, might, you might have to do it a few times, you might have to get a new piece, it just, it's just going to depend on the situation. So in this case, we're picking up everything, I can feel it sliding, everything's sliding, uh, I can feel a little bit of drag and then all of a sudden it, it just loosens up and now it's sliding really freely. So on this section we're finished with that as well. The process is very similar to shaving, so if you can imagine the clay being the razor blade, essentially 
and the, and the lubricant being the shaving cream, essentially all the blade does is just picks up, picks up the stubble or picks up the hairs and cuts them off. That's kind of what we're doing with the clay. We're just picking up anything that's sitting above the painted surface that doesn't wash off, picking it up in the clay, it sticks in the clay, and it leaves us a perfectly soft finish. You may not have to clay the entire vehicle. An inspection, sometimes using a uh, plastic bag over your hand or maybe thin latex gloves, just to gently slide your hand over the surface, you're going to feel the contaminants. Generally, most vehicles, there's a, there's a buildup of contaminants behind the front wheels from maybe about lower of the door or below the door handles from the front to the back of the vehicle and usually the entire back and maybe top of the uh, trunk lid around the bumper area where all the contaminants off the road are picked up from the exhaust, etc., picked up and then stick to the paint surface. So do an inspection on the vehicle, see which areas are required. Once we finish with the cleaning process, now we can get ready for the cleaner fluid, then we'll be applying the wax. Once we've used the Swiss Fax paint rubber to remove as much of the surface contamination as we can, we're going to go on to our last stage before wax. This is going to be using a product called cleaner fluid. Depending on your paint condition, you might just be using one step of cleaner fluid. There are three. There's regular, medium, and strong. So essentially what cleaner fluid is, is a pre-wax polish. So if you've got new paint or paint that's in very good condition, the regular is going to be sufficient. What this does is it's a mild polish to try and remove micro marring, maybe light scratches. Prepare the paint, maybe like a primer, prepare the paint for wax. So to use this product, we simply use a cleaner fluid applicator. We apply some of the cleaner fluid onto the applicator. Then we're going to work small areas. We don't want to go too large with this product and we don't want the product to dry. So we're just going to start out. We're going to go in a, in a back and forth motion. Just again, using small areas, a little bit of pressure, not too much. Try and be as flat handed as possible. We're not going to let it dry. Then you're going to use a clean micro, micro fluffy towel and we're just going to buff it off. I'm just going to wait a second and then we're just going to buff it off. So you would do this throughout the vehicle. Preparing the paint for its last stage. Working our way to other areas of the car, I'm just going to apply more cleaner fluid. You're going to go in a back and forth motion. Working small areas. This product does dry rather quickly, and if it does dry, it might be difficult to remove. So we're, we're keeping aware, we're working in small manageable sections. Should it dry, just take a microfiber towel damp, you can take it off, or just simply apply more cleaner fluid and put it on top and the cleaner fluid will take itself off. We're just going to buff it off. We're going to continue in small manageable sections throughout the vehicle. As soon as you've got all the painted surfaces prepared, now we're ready for our last stage, which is the Swiss Vax Wax. This is the last stage of your paint preparation and protection process, the wax stage. Swiss Vax manufactures a variety of waxes. The wax you choose will depend on a number of factors such as paint color, manufactured paint system, durability, and gloss. To apply the wax, we're just going to use the Swiss Fax Black Wax Applicator. We're going to apply a small amount of wax on the applicator. We're just going to put a light amount of wax in a back and forth motion on the paint surface. You want to make sure that you don't put too much wax and you want to make sure there's enough that it covers all parts of the paint. Work in smaller sections. Try and keep away from the edges so we don't have a wax buildup. Uh, any rubber, black plastics, just keep a little bit of ways from that. We've let the wax cure. Now we're going to use the Swiss Vax Micro Fluffy Towel to remove the wax. We're just going to, going to go in a back and forth motion to remove the wax residue. Rotate the towel. And you can feel right away how the towel glides across the surface. You're going to start to see the shine. Look at the water bead on this paint after using Swiss Vax wax.
These products can be found in store or online at autoobsess.com. In addition, we have links to the products we used in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.